everybody, it's the Farmsim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Today I thought we'd do a little modder spotlight. And the guys I'm going to focus on today are the guys at Forward Agricultural Solutions. That's Dan Finley, Jared Wall, and Joshua Duncan. Now, if you take their surnames, F W D, Forward Agricultural Solutions, are coming up with some incredible mods at the moment. Now, uh, we are looking at their CC7500 anhydrous tank here. Uh, which I know a lot of you have seen in my streams and videos recently. It is a prototype, it's still in testing, but I wanted to show you just the level of quality and detail that these guys are going into when they're building their mods. Now, we've got it hooked up to the 850 air cart uh, from Custom Modding and the 1870 Cedar, but what I'm going to do, I'll just jump into this as well, and I'm going to come to the 9RX in a little while, is I'm going to unfold the Cedar, because I want you to see, um, not just do they build their own mods, but they want to make sure that everything they do is perfect. So, uh, for example, and I again will run through some of the specs of this in a little while, they have made sure that they've connected the, the pipe up here from the anhydrous tank into the back of the air cart. Now this runs along the base of the air cart. Now at the front here, you see the black pipes coming out, so they don't just build a tank, stick it on the back, and everything else isn't their problem. They go to the real extremes of making sure that everything is perfect. And I'm sorry, but that kind of attention to detail deserves some massive, massive recognition. Um, the quality of mods that are coming out of the modders for FS19, and I'm sure for FS22 in the coming months as well, is, is absolutely incredible these days. But for me, this is... Uh, this is the difference between what makes a good mod and what makes an outstanding mod is that attention to detail. So obviously um, this is custom modding's mod. So this isn't on general release at the moment, but they are in the process of building their own air carts and cedars. So um, in the not too distant future, we will be seeing mods from Forward Ag that will allow you to have the full setup um, of your own. I know a lot of you will be here because you want to hear a little bit more about the CC7500. So let's just jump into the shop and have a look at it. So it has its own category in the shop in anhydrous ammonia, and there it is. Let's open this up. Um, you can change things like the main colour, so you can match your uh, favourite tractor brand if you so desire, or you can just leave it black again with the rim colours. Lots of variants of that as well, so you can uh, go wild if you want, uh, changing those up. Um, let's just put it back to the bases at the moment, just for the purposes of this. Um, they have very kindly stuck my logo on the side of this one um, as well, which is very kind of them. Now, wheel brands, you have standard here. Now, if you go through for standard, uh, which is in effect lizard, lizard branded, um, you have transport standard, you have dual wheels at the back, and you have the tracks. Now, this is a very recent addition that the guys have just added. And these tracks are phenomenal. The lighting off them, these shiny new tracks, is brilliant. And they have um, sent me a couple of videos while I were developing these to show the independent movement of these uh, when you're on different terrain, which is fantastic. And they have also said that these are going to be released to the modding community to allow modders to put them on all of their different equipment. So uh, fantastic stuff from uh, the guys at Forward Ag. Uh, you can also put in this liquid fertilizer. It doesn't have to be anhydrous. So again, it can be used on maps where you don't have anhydrous installed. But obviously, it comes into its own when you have maps like Flint Hills, uh, where the anhydrous is already built into the map. And of course, now we already know you can add anhydrous to any map uh, because of Kadirk Farm's brilliant video that shows you how to do that as well. So I'll put a link to that in the top corner. So when I talked about attention to detail before from these guys, let me just give you a perfect example of that. When you open and close these valves to, to empty and refill the tank, check out the animations that they bothered to do on these. I mean, there was absolutely no need to do this, but it just shows you how brilliant and how you know forward-thinking these guys are. So green obviously opens them, blue closes them, and you can see the dial in the meter at the top moving as well as the pressure builds. So just incredible stuff I mean that is that is second to none fantastic now like I said this isn't available at the moment to the community and I'm not sure if it'll ever be available I know it was very much a test project for these guys however 
do not lose hope because I know they are in the very final stages of developing a KC-6000 pull-between tanker for anhydrous and liquid fertilizer, which looks fantastic. They've sent me some vids of it in development, and they've also sent me a few in-game uh, clips of it as well, and it is looking really, really good. Uh, they're targeting a July release for it, and uh, it's going to be very exciting to see that. And finally, we need to talk about the John Deere 9RX that was provided by the guys at Forward Ag as well. This is quite possibly the loveliest tractor mod I've seen in game. I know I've banged on a lot about Carl Farms Steiger recently, but this runs it really, really close. The customization on this is off the charts. Now, Josh at Forward Ag has told me that this has been kind of passed around guys in private circles for quite a while and there's over 15 people have added and tweaked little bits to it as they've gone on the guys have had it most recently and they've added a load more stuff to it as well which is great but let's jump into the shop and i'll show you what is included in this tractor pack so let's have a look what you get in this pack you get the 9rx you get the 9rx with a thinner tract version and then you get the european versions of both of those as well let's jump into the main first one here let's have a look at it i'll give you a little bit of a tour around what you can do to it already you can see the 3d tracks on it looking really really good um and the detail this is a slightly higher poly model so it's not um the smallest tractor in the world it's about 300 meg for the pack but you do get your four tractors for that so um let's have a look what you get at the front in terms of weights you have a front hydraulic which is always nice to have a rock box two versions of a rock box there and then you've got a massive 2200 kilo and going all the way down to i think the last one there was 500 so uh, on top of that you have got your tracks so you've got 120 inch spacing on your tracks and you've got 100 inch 88 and 80 so lots of different options there in terms of uh, track width you have 28 30 30 with weights at the back puts these nice weight boxes on the back of the wheels here uh, and then we go up to 36 which are starting to get really massive and then even on top of that 36 with weights you have 40 inches as well absolutely colossal tracks great stuff and with the 120 spacing that is a beast of a tractor and again finally the 40 inch with weights as well so very nice from that point of view and then if we go around to the back you can add on a three-point linkage which adds to it as well um, and then we move down and we can have flags on here you've got access to a Canadian flag a UK flag or an American flag um, and these flutter the fluttering of this in the wind when it's going at speed is really really nicely animated it's a great job uh, beacons standard left right both or none of those engine cover you can add and remove the engine cover uh, you can go up to 25 in terms of tractors, so all the way up there, numbering, which is great. 100 year edition, like I said, this is based on the custom modding, original mod with lots of additions to it. Um, then you can add on monitors, so we'll stick some monitors in the cab. Uh, you've got a few options here. You've got Gen 4 monitors on their own, which drops the Gen 4 monitors at the side of the wheel. But in addition to that, there is a Field View iPad, um, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Um, or you can add two of them in together. So we'll leave that on. We'll max out the spec on this, I think. A window tint, you've got medium and you've got dark, which makes it look very mean, doesn't it? Look at that. Great. Let's pop a medium on there for now. Toolbox, you can have one on uh, the left and the right, or you can choose which side you prefer to have it on. Nice as well. Uh, light bars puts these lovely LED light bars in the top. Um which really, really illuminate the ground when you're working at night. Really nice to see. Starfire GPS, obviously just a little placement. It doesn't do anything for GPS mod. Uh, you would need to add that in anyway. Um, back weights, you can't really see this too well, but as you can see just behind the linkage there, it throws in a couple of different options for rear weights uh, to hold the tractor down. CB radio, again, a little bit of cosmetic, but uh, a lovely nice touch there. Can just see it through the window but we'll jump in the cab once we've spec this and uh, we'll go and have a look at it and again a chain underneath so you turn that on again just attention to detail really nice touch don't need to have that on there but uh, it just adds to it doesn't it 
We will turn global positioning on because we've got that mod installed because it will definitely help. And then exhaust config, we've got the rain cap, short pipe, and long pipe. Always think long pipe looks good. And engine setups, we have the 517 horsepower 947 T. Um, we've got the 9520, which is 572 horsepower. The 9570, which is 628 horsepower and a whopping 55,500 extra dollars if you want that. And then above of that, the 9620 uh, with 670 horsepower for $76,500 extra. And then back down to your normal one. Of course, we're going to go for the biggest one we can get. Um, and then down at the bottom here, a blade mount, which is brilliant if you want to use this for silage clamps. So that puts a blade on the front and you can use a third party uh, blade mod to uh, use this for compacting silage as well. Again, another nice touch. Wasn't needed, but much appreciated. So let's hit the buy button on that for uh, not bad, actually. 550000 You would think it would be more than that. Um, so the price wise, it's not too offensive. And let's go and look at this in real life. So there it is in real life looking resplendent um like i said let's just jump in it here and let's have a look in the cab because i want to show you let's fire it up it's obviously got the screens there as well but there is your field view screen your uh, ipad which is a nice touch uh looks a little bit like precision farming which is always nice to see and the cb radio up there which looks really good too um but all in all this is a phenomenal tractor i absolutely love it the noise of the engine's great as well. Um, there's the blade and the chain on the front, making it really, really sweet. And um, I am absolutely delighted to say that I have had permission from Forward Ag to share a link with you guys to download this mod. So you can have this in your games as well. And it is well worth getting. So there you go. The link will be in the description. Huge thanks to Forward Ag for that. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful tractor and I know from the amount of questions and asks I've had for where you can get this, there's going to be a lot of very happy people uh, now this is available. So thank you very much Ford Ag, much appreciated guys. So there you go, um, a little bit of a tour of um, Forward Ag's uh, works in progress. Like I said, relatively new to the modding scene. Um, their tracks are already available on Mod Network uh, and available for other modders to download and use. And they're looking for feedback about those as well. So if you're a modder and you want to use those tracks, go grab them and uh, work with the guys and let them know how you're doing. And uh, all I can say is thank you. They've been incredibly gracious, incredibly friendly, um, incredibly uh, generous uh, with sharing the mods with myself, with Kadirk, and I know with Argzy as well, who's much appreciated uh, the support from them. Uh, genuinely, really, really lovely, friendly guys, and uh, they deserve a lot of support. I'm going to put links to their channels down in the description as well. Go and give them a like on YouTube. You'll see their uh, projects in development. Again, give them a follow on their Facebook page. And also, Dan and Jared have their own Facebook pages as well, so it's well worth following those, them on those as well. So, for now... Uh, from me, the farm sim guy, that was just a little bit of an overview of the brilliant guys at Forward Agricultural Solutions. And uh, let's go and give them some FSG support. Okay, from me for now, take care and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.